Um, my name is Elvis and I'm the software development manager for Standard Life Organization Nigeria and it's a microfinance organization. We are into giving loans and um, getting back our money back of course. So we are into the rural poor and um, the active the active poor even in the, the urban area. Okay, so um, as a microfinance organization, our activities are more or less in the field where we have to interact with our clients, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, um, try to um, get them to um, get loans from us and, you know, we take them through the process of, you know, registration, loan disbursement, and we also get back our cash and money from them you know, in the form of repayments, which is usually done on a weekly basis. So uh, the microfinance uh, industry is more, uh, it's, it's robust, you know, in Nigeria. And uh, it's one of the ways that um, we are able to alleviate the level of poverty, you know, in the country. Okay, so more or less our operational activities have been around um, manual processes where we have to, um, you know, take our data in manual form before we take it out to the, to the branches. Know, to enter it into our system, that um, the core banking system, CBS, which is um, software used by microfinance and um, even banks to, you know, organize their operational processes. So we've been more or less on the manual side at the field level. So on um, this year, my um, organization, Standard Life Organization, decided to go into a full digital implementation that will take over the manual process you know, of our loan disbursement, of our loan repayment, savings collections, and all that. So, because it's actually been a lot of work doing, um, carrying out the manual processes, it's been a lot of work, and it's been tedious, time consuming, and all that. You know, so we decided to go fully digital. So one of the um, ways we try to achieve this, um, to reach this goal, is to deploy the devices to our branches, where our um, staff can, you know, use these devices to go to the, the field, collect money, enter it instantly. The branch manager sees it at the office and, you know, approves and you know checks for correctness and all that. So that is how our process has been. So we went into this um, project this year, the digital project, and one of the major concerns that we have at the beginning of uh, doing this was the concern of uh, security, the concern of, okay, when we give the devices to these persons, what happens? What are they going to use it for? Will the devices not be open, too open for them to do anything that they want to do on these devices, like use the social media, you know, make personal calls and all that. You know, a lot of distractions that are available with the use of the digital device. So we decided to look for a um, a security solution, um, a mobile device management solution that would help us to um, control, you know, have control, have security, you know, um, especially from the um, head office level. So um, we went, you know, online to look for some of these solutions and we were able to get the hex node NDM solution. And um, the, of course, there are other solutions out there, you know, several NDM solutions out there that provide what we need. But Xnode was the first that we, we got and we were satisfied with some of the features that we saw that Xnode can provide. So we decided to go with the Xnode NDM. We did our research, we um, tested some of all these things, we talked to the technicians who were able to help us. They were able to show us how to navigate around the system. They, were, they allowed us to test it for a while before we even had to pay for the licensing. Okay, so um, now having having said that, um, what we intend to what we intended to achieve, which most of uh, most of which we have achieved right now, is to um, be able to have control, like I said before, and also have um, our staff only have access to applications that we need them to have access to, which of course 
are the applications that are needed for them to work. You know, so um, with the use of the AI engine, we're able to achieve that. We're able to get that, you know, put that in place. We have an application which we call the um, digital facing application, um, which is um, the mobile application of the core banking system that we are currently using by um, the software provider in the Netherlands. So um, we're able to deploy that application in the kiosk mode, which allows for um, adequate security. You know, restricting these persons from uh, having access to certain parts of the devices, you know, preventing them from being able to reset these devices because um, we want to protect our data and we also want to make sure that um, they are not able to jeopardize the um, operations of sometimes when we encounter a little bit of uh, maybe a technical issue or maybe something that has to do with the knowledge gap with, you know, with us. Been able to use, you know, utilize more features of the MDM. Um, the text technicians, they have um, been very, very helpful, you know, providing support, you know, helping us navigate through the MDM and uh, preferring solutions to um, some of the problems that we, we encounter. Okay, so um, in talking about um, our experiences so far with the MDM, um, like I said at the beginning, it's, um, we started using the MDM this year, part of our digital goal to, you know, utilize our operations in the organization. So, um, it's actually our first experience with using an MDM software. Um, we would not use any before, apart from my IT manager who has previous you know, prior experience where he worked for another microfinance organization and um, with his experience and you know his exposure in the technology world he was also able to help us you know uh, because we had a lot of decisions to make as to whether um, the ex node MDM would be able to um, solve some of the problems that we intended to use it to solve and so far so good um, the MDM has been able to help us in those areas. For me, it's been, you know, an exciting experience. It's been um, enlightening for me. It's, it's, it's a new experience. It opened the door for me to see and understand that there are, uh, there's, there's so much, you know, in, in IT, in technology that um, I, I didn't really know. So it's, it was more or less um, an exciting experience.